So, the iPod. Now, I want to go back to this market share data, this 31% market share that I bet will go up when we see the December numbers, but I want to drill down into this a little bit more. So, we look at this and the iPod's got a 31% market share of the entire MP3 market, but what's the rest of the market? Well, the biggest chunk is flash players. There's a zillion of them, but they all add up to about another 60% of the market. And half of that we look at as the high-end flash market, or coincidentally about another 31%. These are flash players that sell between $100 and $200. And then there's about an equal 31% that's a low-end flash market, flash players that sell under $100. And then the other is 7%. These are mostly other hard disk players that we're in the process of, of eliminating uh, with the iPod. <laughs> so, now we looked at this this high-end flash market, and we want to we go after that. It's really interesting. The under $100 flash players get usually put in a drawer and not used because they really only hold 15 songs. The high-end flash players, if you pay $200, they hold about 60 songs. If you pay close to $100, they hold 30 songs, and people either do one of two things. They either get a new memory card for it, right, and spend usually over 200 bucks total to bring it up to 60 songs, or they put it in the drawer and don't use it. So this is what these things generally look like, right? Something like this. And again, what they are is they have 256 megabytes of memory if they're useful. They hold 60 songs. They're about 0.8 to 1.2 inches thick. And they sell for $199, whether you buy them with 256 or you buy them with 128 and you realize you need 256 and you go out and pay more and get that memory card. So that's what this market represents in terms of the ones actively in use. They also have a really bad user interface. They've got a really small display that doesn't tell you much, and they've got this little thumb thing, which if you, I guess if you have 15 songs, it's okay, but if you have any number of songs, it, it gets ridiculous very quickly. Well, we are going to introduce the second member of the iPod family today to go after these guys. <laughs> and it's called the iPod Mini. The iPod Mini. So let's see how it stacks up. The iPod Mini, right here. <laughs> Instead of having 256 megabytes, it's got 4,000 megabytes or 4 gigabytes of storage. Instead of holding 60 songs, it holds 1,000 songs. We think this is what it takes to take your library with you and not have to fret over which 60 songs out of your library are you going to take. It is half the thickness of these other MP3 players, a half an inch thick. And we're going to sell it for $249. And so let's take a look at this. It's got 16 times the storage. It holds 16 times the music. It's half the thickness and it's 50 bucks more. This is the best 50 bucks you'll ever spend. You get 940 more songs for $50. So the iPod mini, what's it look like? Well, this is the iPod and it's pretty small, but this is the mini, it's even smaller. And it's pretty stunning. You can put up to 10,000 songs on an iPod, you can put 1,000 songs on the mini. And it is quite small. To relate with what it looks like and the size that it is, it is the size of a business card. So if you've got a business card in your pocket, take it out and take a look at it. And that is how large the iPod mini is. And it is a half an inch thick. It is really, really beautiful. And when you turn it on, you don't get some cheesy user interface. You get the award-winning iPod user interface, the same user interface. Now, we had a challenge. We had a challenge because we didn't have room for four separate buttons on the Mini. And so we came up with something really great. We have the solid state scroll wheel, right? Patent pending. And we've added buttons right on it. So we've added buttons right on the, on the solid state scroll wheel. So when you finish scrolling, you just push it and it just clicks in like this. Isn't that sweet? It's really nice and it saves space and lets us build this product so small. This is what the top looks like, just like you've come to know and love in your iPod. And the bottom has the same iPod connector on it, 
which lets us plug in a cable, and the iPod Mini supports both FireWire and USB 2. And a new thing, you can charge the battery from either one. So you can charge the battery off USB 2 if you're using it on a PC. We supply both cables with the iPod Mini, so there's nothing extra to buy, a FireWire and a USB cable. And we also supply a new belt clip with it, which is really nice and works real well. There's two accessories for the iPod Mini. Got a dock, and we've got an armband, because this is great for running. So if you take a look at this and compare it with these flash players, 16 times the music, half the thickness, $50 extra. And here's what one looks like right here. This is one. They're really, really beautiful. I don't know if we can get a shot of this from the back, but they're quite nice. They're quite nice, and they are quite small. And you can see the thickness right here. They're really unbelievable. So, the iPod Mini is designed to go after this, the high end of the flash market, and we think it's going to do very well doing exactly that. And there's just one more thing about the iPod Mini, which is it comes in colors. So in addition to silver, we have gold, we have blue, we have pink, and we have green. So we have a whole family of colors with the iPod Mini. Now these are aluminum, and they're anodized aluminum, so the photography doesn't really do it justice. You go out and see these in the booth. They are gorgeous. The iPod Mini runs on Mac or PC, $249. We're going to be shipping these next month in the US and in April worldwide. The iPod Mini, we think, is going to be a great second member to the iPod family. So that's what we're doing. <laughs>